Hello there. Can you believe it's been a whopping 39 years since the iconic TV series Who's the Boss 1984 graced our screens? Our childhoods were defined by the thrilling mysteries of Who's the Boss? Imagine the fun of gathering your family on the sofa to revisit this classic, witnessing the cast then and now, reminiscing about those we've lost, and marveling at the transformations of those who still look fabulous. For all the answers, join us in our video journey. Okay, let's explore together. In 1984, Tony Danza graced a screen with his portrayal of the character Tony Maselli, a role he brought to life at the age of 33. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 72-year-old, he's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Brooklyn, New York City, New York. Mr. Maselli. It, it also strikes me that the qualifier uh, upon this continent seems unnecessary. Where else would our fathers have... So there was a lot of pressure on me that night. And, um, but I was fighting a guy, I think I was fighting, I heard I was fighting the state champion of Connecticut. In 1984, Catherine Hellman graced the screen with her portrayal of the character Mona Robinson, a role she brought to life at the age of 55. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on February 23, 2019, she left us due to Alzheimer's disease at the age of 89 in Los Angeles, California. Would flourish. Oh, you're right. And there's no time like the present, huh? Listen, everybody. Guess what? They had, they sent two people over to uh, make a mask on my face. But I, I... In 1984, Alyssa Milano graced a screen with her portrayal of the character, Samantha Maselli, a role she brought to life at the age of 12. And now, at a youthful 51 years old, she now resides in Brooklyn, New York City, New York, where she's crafting a vibrant and healthful life infused with numerous passions. You know, Sam, I've been thinking a lot about today. Me too. Hey, where did the cheerleader sit? I love your mind. You come. It made my fame make sense to me. It never made sense before that moment. I wasn't comfortable with it. Yep. And, and Danny Pintaro graced the screen as the character Jonathan Bauer, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of eight during the 1984 filming. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 47 year old, he's relishing life to the fullest basking in the beauty of Milltown, New Jersey. Trouble. Oh, okay, I, I'm here for you. What is it? I crashed Tony's car. Bye. Sam, wait. <laughs> Are you okay? At all, no. What was that like? The idea of gay characters in anything at that time was very few and far between. And Judith Light graced the screen as the character Angela Bauer, cast in her vibrant presence at the age of 35 during the 1984 filming. And now, at the age of 74, she resides in Trenton, New Jersey, basking in the joy of a fulfilling life, surrounded by family and cherished friends. I don't have a tub, all I have is a shower. Aw, poor baby. And where in the Constitution does it guarantee life, liberty, and the pursuit of a bubble bath? <laughs> I, even know you I do agree with him. She was so much the fulcrum of the show, and without her, it's really not, wouldn't be the same. And I think a lot of people feel that way. In 1985, Nicole Eggert graced a screen with her portrayal of the character Marcy Ferguson, a role she brought to life at the age of 13. And now, at a youthful 51 years old, she now resides in Glendale, California, where she's crafting a vibrant and healthful life infused with numerous passions. Her sister only head cheerleader. <laughs> Those are her pom-poms bronzed in the trophy case. <laughs> you know, solid stand-up citizen who did nothing wrong and is completely innocent, but yet somebody who played a child and you watched grow up knocks on your door one night. And Robin Thomas graced the screen as the character Jeffrey Wells, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 37 during the 1986 filming. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 74-year-old, he's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Carlisle, Pennsylvania. A few hours ago, I might have. 
Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> I would love to marry you. Well, I didn't ask you. ...to do their thing, really, and he had a very clear vision of what he wanted for this piece, because he wrote it, right? Um, Rhoda Gemignani graced the screen as the character Mrs. Rossini, casting her vibrant presence at the age of 44 during the 1984 filming. And now, at the age of 83, she resides in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, basking in the joy of a fulfilling life surrounded by family and cherished friends. We go back to Sicily. Good. In 1984, Earl Bowen graced the screen with his portrayal of the character, Jim Peterson, a role he brought to life at the age of 43. It is with heavy hearts that we recall January 5, 2023, when he sadly departed at the age of 81 in Hawaii following a battle with lung cancer. You had something else. Ah, just my parents' 50th anniversary. <laughs> I'll catch him next year. Anyway, it's not like I was invited. Hi. In 1987, Scott Bloom graced a screen with his portrayal of the character, Jesse Nash, a role he brought to life at the age of 13. And now, at the age of 50, he resides in Manhasset, New York, basking in the joy of a fulfilling life, surrounded by family and cherished friends. Share your favorite character from the TV series, Who's the Boss, with me. Drop your thoughts in the comments below this video, and don't forget to show your love by hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel, and ringing the notification bell to catch all my upcoming videos. I'm eagerly looking forward to sharing more wonderful memories with you. Thank you, and see you all soon.